Hey guys, what's up? My name is Trish. Welcome to my channel, Trish the Natural. In today's video, I am going to be telling you guys how I went from a failed wash and go to the twist out. Keep watching. I am going to show you guys something you can do when your wash and go um, didn't turn out quite how you expected it. You could say uh, maybe a wash and go fail you can restyle it and this is what i do especially since i use the cream styler i did not use like you know any like thick gel in my hair i will try to restyle it okay my little band trying to get caught see i just put put a, one band on there so you can uh Bring it on down. Release the puff. Bring it on down. Yep. Kind of pull it on down. And uh, what I'm going, I think I'm going to do is a twist out and um see that that residue so so what i'm going to do is a twist out and since i already i, I just washed my hair so i don't want to do the whole process over again and i used a cream to do the wash and go and it's a cream that you could do twist outs or braid outs with so i'm gonna try to salvage this and do a twist out so and i usually i'm just gonna do one on camera so you guys can see but i usually um have my hair in eight sections yes only eight it works for me so be gentle because you know it's a wash and go it's been up in a puff so you're gonna have some tangles in there so be gentle and what i'll do is kind of you know rub it i rub it even before i put anything on it and since i already have product in my hair i am only putting warm water only putting warm water and i'm sorry guys if if i'm not looking directly into the camera i'm, I'm working on getting better at that i'm trying to see what i'm doing here so just kind of do 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 Rubbing it down, calming it down from this uh, <laughs> field washing go. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to be all right. Going to be all right. Hopefully. Hopefully this works. And I've done this before uh, with styles where I had residue. And instead of just redoing, you know, my hair over again. I just um, added warm water. That's what I'm gonna add right now. Look at it sticking out. Let me let me do this this way. And see, that's gonna help get that residue uh, to loosen up. And now I'm gonna rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub that. So it's reactivating that for sure. It's reactivating a little more. I don't want it uh, dripping wet. I do not, cause it takes my hair long enough to dry. But we want to get those ends really good. Okay. Okay, that's feeling good. 
It's feeling good. It's feeling good. And I'm definitely going to show you guys the results of this, me trying this again. Um, I, like I said, I've done this before. It was a different product, though. Product. And and pay attention to your hair, guys. I, you know, when I'm doing things to my hair like this, and you know, rubbing it in, trying to you know get it one re-moisturize and to reactivate, you know, that product. I'm feeling my hair for how it feels. If 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 it feels, you know, like it's going to be moisturized and stuff. That's why I added a little more water to my ends because they are feeling kind of dry. And I'm, you know, trying to get my hair back into a good state, you know, where it's uh, retaining moisture better um, because I had neglected it for a little while, you know, dealing with all this stuff. This current environment and work and all that, I had kind of neglected it a little bit. So I'm putting some oil on too. That's it. Water and oil. No more products. Okay. And I'm hoping that oil helps seal in the moisture I just added. And then I'm going to twist it. And I know you guys already know how to twist. I t since I do big sections, I do try to twist kind of tight. And if you guys notice, I, I'm not using any tools. Um, I finger detangle and I detangled really good before I did the wash and go. So um, I'm not feeling like any knots or anything like that. I'm gonna put a little bit more water, I think, on this end. Hopefully that's enough for me to be able to twirl it. And I just twirl it. And sometimes I, I use um, the little rod sometimes if I'm feeling it, but not all the time. I just twirl it and let it have that little natural curl from the twirl on the ends. And I twirl it good so it can, there it goes. We got it. See a little white, oh, hopefully, hopefully that goes away. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna twist my hair. I'm gonna go through and add water rub that in make sure i reactivate the product that's already in here and then um i'm add some oil to seal it in and twist it okay and i will come back and let you guys see what the results are cross your fingers that it works be back Real quick, I just want to uh, show you my twist. I, I just finished up twisting my hair and I'm going to come back and show you guys the results of me trying to recover from a bad wash and go. So we'll see, you know, if this works. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. This is a whole day after uh, I showed you the results of my wash and go. And then uh, what I did to change that failed wash and go into a twist out. And uh, the product that I used was the Unicurl 4-in-1 Styler. I attempted to do a wash and go, a you know, a cream wash and go with no gel. I attempted to do that with this product. And um, 
it didn't turn out, you know, quite like I thought it would. And uh, I did uh, get a little bit of definition, um, but it was uh, really uh, poofy and uh, frizzy for a first day wash and go. And uh, it had a little bit of uh, product build up here and there, and that could have been on me. So what I decided to do instead of just, you know, rewashing my hair and starting over since my hair was already cleaned and I had um, product on my hair, actually a cream product on my hair. So I decided to just take that fill wash and go and turn it into a twist out. And that's exactly what I did. So I did my hair, waited a whole day. And today, these are my results. I took my twist out today. Uh, hopefully you guys can see uh, the definition I got, which I'm really pleased with the definition I got. Um, the Unicurl, I would definitely recommend this for a twist out or a braid out. Um, some folks may be able to achieve a wash and go with it. It just didn't really work for my hair. And um, um, I'm a type four, a uh, low porosity um, natural, and I've, I've mentioned that before. So, um, and my dis density is, I guess, maybe like a medium density. For my particular hair, I need something heavy to capture my curls. And this wasn't quite heavy enough, but hey, I cannot complain. So this just goes to show you ladies, sometimes, you know, if that wash and go set doesn't work, you know, how you want it, you know, instead of just, you know, throwing in the towel and totally starting over and uh, rewashing and everything, try, you know, changing that fail wash and go into a twist out, you know, give that a try and, and see if that works for you. And so these are my results. I hope you guys like this video. And also I'll be putting out more content. So please hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you know when I put out new videos. And again, thank you guys for uh, stopping by this video. I really appreciate it. Until the next video, peace.